Well, hello and welcome to the Driftwood Boat Club. In last week's episode, we were up in Clomac Nice. This week, we're heading from Clomac Nice downriver to the town of Shannon Bridge. The River Shannon is still in flood. The currents are still very, very strong. And boating in these conditions is still quite, quite challenging. So here we are. This is Clomac Nice. It's a very exposed jetty. There's quite a strong current in the river, quite a strong breeze up, and it's quite difficult to get the boat out. There's not too many boats on the river. This is the last weekend in October. It's a bank holiday weekend here in Ireland. Very, very much off season, but there are still one or two plucky, hardy boaters out there on the river that we get to share it with. quick look at the depth sounder there and it's reading 7.1 meters this would normally be well a bit shallower than that I'm sure those trees over there are quite quite tall this particular spot here I know this stretch of river quite well and it is quite rocky and if you look at the surface of the water it's kind of betraying the fact that there is a certain amount of rocks not too far beneath the surface so it's uh, very difficult to thread your way through here and to keep on the channel the channel is quite quite narrow now this is just approaching the town of Shannon Bridge there's a magnificent 17 arched bridge all the way across the river here and there's moorings above and below the bridge but we were told by the lock keeper up in Athlone not to bother going to the moorings below the bridge because they're almost all of them are submerged on the water so up above the bridge here there's a floating jetty it has water, it has a hookup for electricity, and it has everything we need. Generally, off season, when the water levels are high, I think you're far better off to go with a floating jetty. The old stone bridge here is quite magnificent, and there's an old stone key wall here as well. And on the far side of the river is another Napoleonic fort that, again, never fired a shot in anger. This is the pump-out station and that green marker there is actually marking where the edge of the jetty is. You can't get a boat anywhere near it and if you did try to you would certainly run into difficulties. In fact, all the way up along here there is a jetty there and you can see there's more green markers have been put in there by Waterways Ireland to warn you not to go too close to the shore. Now Shannon Bridge is a great spot for pubs. That's Lucas, and this one here is, of course, Killeen's. So, not being ones to shy away from a challenge, we decide to have a look. Now, I'd have to mention Flynn's Pub. Sadly, it's no longer in business, but once upon a time, that had the cheapest pint of Guinness anywhere in Ireland. Now, it seems to me that publicans around these parts will pass up on no opportunity to advertise. So, this sign was sitting in a random field on the side of the road and we decided to put it to the test and see if they had almost everything. Unfortunately, they didn't have the European 240 volt socket we were looking for. This is the shop and at night time, this converts into the bar. There was music here and I have to say, great bit of crack. So we said, only fair to drop into Lucas and have a look around there. Now Lucas is really two bars in one. There's this modern bar here where you wouldn't be out of place drinking expensive gins in those lovely fishbowl glasses. But take a little walk through this door here and you go back in time. You go back probably 80 or 90 years to a time when pubs were only occupied by men and that mottled glass on the left hand side was to separate the women from the men so the women come in, could come in and buy their groceries and not see their men folk sitting up there at the bar. To me this is a wonderful old world pub because it's not a recreated old world pub, this is as it was. This was actually blocked up and it was only discovered in the last few years by the, the present owner. So we ensconced ourselves beside a lovely turf fire and we sat down and enjoyed a beer. It's the last day of October. It's very, very chilly. So, Shannon Bridge could never be described as a bustling kind of town, but there's two good pubs in it. There's Lucas down at the bridge, and then there's Killeen's. Killeen's do music, so do Lucas. Killeen's do food, 
so do Lucas. Both of them do good food and they're both nice pubs to visit. Good bit of cracking them. Lots of people in the pub there last night. And uh, if you happen to be heading down the river at any stage, Shannon Bridge is well worth pulling into. Now Canal Anorax will recognise that this is one of Thomas Olmer's lock keepers houses. Olmer was an English canal engineer who did a lot of work on the Irish waterways. A quick walk along the jetty and you'll spot evidence of where the lock was once situated. The bridge here at Shannon Bridge dates back to 1757 and it was protected by a fort on the far side of the bridge and this fort it says is on the western bank and it faced west so there would have been large gun emplacements on the top of that up until quite recently the fort had gone into dereliction and was in a very bad state but thankfully the owners have now restored it and in fact there is a lovely restaurant here you also have a fantastic view of all the arches on the bridge there and we're looking across the river here now towards Shannon Bridge. The roadway passed through the fort and there would have been an arch here as the road exited the fort. There you can see it from the other side where the road goes into the fort. And up on top there is where the gun emplacements would have been. There is a walking tour you can do around here, it's completely free. Unfortunately we weren't able to walk part of it because the, uh, the flood had covered in part of the pathway. That's the old swing bridge that was here in Shannon Bridge dating back to the times when barges had a mast and a sail because of course you couldn't tow a barge with a horse along a river. There was a number of tugs based on the, sh on the river Shannon that did tow the barges though. I seem to find it very difficult not to walk along jetties and admire other boats. It's always a great way to pick up good boating ideas and you'll always bump into somebody and end up having a good old chat. And while I was busy admiring other people's boats, the girls were off up the town doing a little bit of last minute shopping. Thankfully, they picked up a couple of nice bits for their breakfast. Now it's time to untie and head up against the current because we have to go back to Athlone. the Shannon are all operated by hydraulics now but at one time you had to put a lock key into that or a windlass to wind open the gates and of course all the sluices on the gates had to be operated in precisely the same way so in days of old lock keepers job would have been an awful lot more difficult than it is nowadays although they probably won't thank me for saying that so as we mentioned earlier this is the October bank holiday weekend the last weekend in October and we have been absolutely blessed with the weather we didn't see a single drop of rain the temperatures have been around I suppose 13 or 14 degrees centigrade and uh, which I think is pretty pretty good I've discovered a way as well of, uh, of getting much more good weather here in Ireland what I do is I've lowered the bar for what I consider to be good weather I've decided now that if it's not raining and if it's 10 degrees or more that's that's good enough to class as good weather and that way I get far more good weather than I used to get before. Those strong currents are very unforgiving and even experienced boaters can get caught off guard. 
this lad was pinned against the bridge but uh, thankfully nobody was hurt and it wasn't as bad as it looked. I think if I had seen this fella before I moored my boat my nerves would have been shot completely trying to get into the mooring. So guys that brings us to the end of another episode. I hope you'll click on the subscribe button, tick the notifications bell and that way YouTube will let you know as soon as the next video is out. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheerio!